evening party people. It's night time. It's chill. So I look like Satan. I always look like Satan at the night time. I just uh, almost forgot to do a video again today. I mean, jeez. You know, I'm just rushed off my feet, obviously. Uh, chilling here in the in the evening time. It's Saturday night. Not that you'd know it. And I got one of my sour beers. It's in my tenant's glass, but it's it's a sour beer. It's a dry hopped sour, by the way. It's my favorite kind of sour uh, beers. Sour beers, if you're not familiar, they kind of taste like pickle juice. I like pickle juice. I mean, American style pickle juice. I don't like that sweet shit. But, um, you know, sour. So you drink the sour beer and it tastes like pickle juice. And, uh, yeah, I've been a big fan of them for quite a while now. And, um, yeah, I bought a few as a little indulgence, had them delivered uh, last week, and uh, that was the beer package I'd been waiting on. It's my dry hopped sours, and uh, yeah, that's how it goes. So, pretty uneventful day. Um, did my walk. I think things were quieter than normal. Went to the supermarket. It was really, really quiet. I was buying beer, of course, and wine. I'm almost out of wine. Did one of these online mail orders for this, like box of cheap wine from Italy and it had kind of mixed reviews um, <laughs> on its website. But the wine was so cheap and I thought, well, you're buying it through PayPal. For some reason, it doesn't show up. You'll get your money back because it's PayPal. They'll make sure you get it. You just, you know, you organize a dispute, that sort of thing. And PayPal is pretty good about things like that. So I thought, can't really lose. And uh, except maybe I can, who knows. Uh, so that, I'm um, waiting for that. In the meantime, I just bought a couple of cheap bottles from Aldi. Bought myself 10 more cans of Tenants, which was kind of disturbing. Because my, my boyfriend, that's Mr. T. That's Tenants. That's my boyfriend. He's the only guy who's there every night and doesn't let me down. Um, they are selling it, the 10 packs now, in cardboard boxes. I used to just have like this plastic wrap thing around them. Which it was kind of good because you could kind of just link your finger like in the plastic and carry it along. But now it's got like this big cardboard box. I mean, I, get, I think you can get, there's a perforated little indentation thing so you can grab it. But I feel a bit weird doing that in the supermarket. You know what I mean? Like once you've perforated it, no one else will want to buy it or something. I don't know. And what if it fell to bits when you did that or you dropped it and fucked it? I don't know. But it was very awkward carrying it. And uh, while I was queuing, and there wasn't a very long queue, but while I was queuing to go through Aldi, which now has the plastic things all around the cashiers and everything, they're really, really now all about the security consciousness at Aldi. I don't know, that one day must have just been an anomaly. I, I, I do think so. But, um, uh, yeah, I was waiting and waiting. This guy wasn't like moving up to the front. I thought I was going to drop everything because I got back issues, you know. I'm just standing like with all this heavy stuff. And then finally they opened up a new cash desk and I ran over there. And uh, yeah, that's about as exciting as my whole fucking day has been. My walk was sunny. It was sunny today. I actually, I wore my hoodie for the first time instead of my coat. And there's been a couple of days I could have wore the hoodie, but I didn't realize it till I got outside. So I wore the hoodie instead of the coat and I actually tied the hoodie around my waist. And it said it was only 13 outside. And I don't know what that is for all you people who are Fahrenheiters. And um, I mean, it's like high 50s or something or mid 50s. Um, but it certainly felt more like about a 15 day, if you ask me. So um, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe it was. Maybe the weather was just wrong. It's the virus. It's making all the meteorologists a bit kooky. Um, but <laughs> the Met Office can't deal. They've got a virus, maybe. So, uh, yeah, kind of came home, did some cleaning here. I, I organized. Here we go. I don't know if anyone can see behind me. You probably saw behind me before. And there was like a pile of weird shit. But you can see now it's kind of like very organized. It's very nice and organized and clean. I, I took the the drop cloth and put it through the wash today and I threw away two bags of stuff that was on top of it. Two bags, that's right, two bags full of shit from the top of there, just the top. <laughs> the bottom's all full of shit as well. That's probably tomorrow's job. But uh, I've been slowly but surely cleaning the bedroom and uh, I've got the, the desk behind me which is nice and clean, but I guess, yeah, you guys, it's like, you can't see it because it's dark wood, but normally it's stacked like 
miles high with clothing. And then we've got my, my dress, dresser drawers here, which is also very uh, tidy. I don't know if you can really see it because I don't have a light on. And my shelves are in the corner, which are tidy and organized. And then there's almost nothing on them now. And then there's this wonderful desk behind me, which has got very, very little on it. Some will be less on it in a minute because I'm still cleaning stuff. All this stuff is what I've been doing every day. A couple of couple of drawers uh, underneath something. What got the dust in my eye? Yeah, and there's plenty more to go. Uh, I'll kind of see if I can show you. That's the dresser I need to tackle. See how bad that is? It looks pretty bad, doesn't it? And uh, <laughs> we've got the uh, I don't know the shoes. Maybe shoes shoe tower is going to be organized better. And we've got the clothes. I don't know if you can you can't see under the bed. It's too dark, but. Anyway, it's coming along quite nicely, I suppose. And, uh, you know, my room will be sparkling one day, I'm sure. Anyway, that's it. Nothing else to say. It's boring days. Sorry I wasn't more exciting for you all. But, you know, there's always more. Wash your hands. Stay the fuck away from me. Don't touch anything.